Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. And that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The Czech Republic braced for their anthem. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So off we go then. Suchi. Kadorbek. Gebre Salasi. Berida. Played into space out wide. A chance to play it in. Has a hit! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Great run on the overlap here. He's got options out wide. Just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sick. Header! Goal! The Czech Republic! The Czech Republic are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. The Czech Republic get themselves into the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And he's going long. Drill chance! In it goes! They have done it! They have their equaliser! He was really quick to react to the Ave, and he has his reward. That's just top-notch, showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it, ball breaks kindly, he's always about.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Suchi drives it forward. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Schick with the foul. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Looking to hit the front line. And helps available out wide. An uncompromising challenge. No foul, says the referee. Referee brings the first half to a close. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. It's been a really interesting game up to now, and the sides are predictably very well matched. Hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but as it stands, it's one each. And we're already back on the way here. The Czech Republic playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline converting chances would make a world of difference for them played in with accuracy oh good interception on a charge Barida Schick There's a move that looked promising but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm on this game and there's a long ball and well played he saw that coming gets good distance on it and no that is pretty much the end of that oh sweet feet Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. This is intriguing. Next goal critical. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. One final crack at it now. It is now or never. Time is against them. Finland have a free kick. Clears it out of harm's way. And that's it. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch, and it ends in a draw. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, neither side.